Welcome back to GTV. I'm your host, Avery Wade. And I'm Harley. You know what, Harley? What is it? You look like you need a little comedy in your life. You know what? As a matter of fact, I think you're right. Well, I have the perfect segment for you. First up, we have Comedy Corner with Michael. Hello, folks. Welcome to my science show. Today, you'll be learning about the proper way to cook this chicken. So, if you convert kinetic energy, which is movement, into thermal energy, which is heat, that means if someone were to slap this chicken at the speed of 3,725.95 miles per hour, it would be fully cooked at 400 degrees. So let's try that. It's not cooked. Take two. That's a lot of damage. But it's not cooked. Take three. Gotta go fast. Still not cooked. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of cuts and stuff. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Kame, Kame. Ha! Next method. Plus ultra. You just got salmonella all over our blanket. <laughs> no, I didn't. I bumped it with my umbrella. It's all good. <laughs> all right. Since none of my methods of slapping the chicken at 3,725.95 miles per hour worked. I have also calculated that if you slap it normally at the normal human speed, you can slap it 24,000 times in a row to raise it to 400 degrees. Let's test that. I admit that's not quite 24,000 times, but it's already looking a little bit, a little bit better. So tune in next time for Michael's science experiment of slapping the chicken about 23,000 more times. Thank you for watching. Are you sure that's even real? Well, technically, if you take into account... Wait, did you say technically? Well, yeah, what about it? Technically, remember the next segment, tech? Right. Are you segueing? Darn tootin'. Now, G-Tech with Aeroberto. Hi, I'm Light Cargo. I'm with G-Tech. So, let me show you around. So this is our programming aspect. As you can see, we got a program running on the computer right now. 
So let me show you around the shop. As you can see, as we go through the shop, we've got our team and our workplace right here. As you can see, we're trying to sort out a few uh, technical difficulties with our robot for the competition. It's going all well. We really need some members. We'd really appreciate it. So right now, we're working on a robot for the G-Tech competition. We're having this Saturday. Can't say the specific day, but... Yeah. Anyway, so I'm just gonna move. You see how this motor and this motor are not equal or are not on the same or place. So I'm just gonna move this a little bit forward so they're both the same stuff. They're both in the same place and it would move more efficiently. So with our current forklift, it's not high enough to stack cone, well, stack pods. So I'm trying to make another elevator. So we, so this could be high enough to stack some more pods. Those robots are pretty cool. Hey Avery, do you know when the first robot was made? How why would I know that? I don't know. You said they were cool. I thought you liked them. But, fun fact, it has been 65 years since the first robot was made. And why should I care? Because it's an important milestone. That reminds me of our next topic. Which is? Milestone 2019 with Nick. Man, I learned so much from that. How did you learn? This is Gall High. There's a lot of things you can learn from the people here. Like what? Well, take your segment. Which one? You know, random interviews. Oh yeah, now random interviews with me. Macario, what's your greatest fear? My biggest fear is clowns. I agree. Uh, my greatest fear is that... Uh, well, my greatest fear is heights. Like, if it goes to the second story of the gym, uh, I'd be very scared. You know, palms sweaty, knees weak, hands are heavy. Alpaca. My greatest fear has to be spiders. Uh, my greatest fear is losing one of my close friends, and like losing the friends I made, and like trying, like, because I don't like losing friends in school. Uh, bees, uh, because I know got sung, so I don't know if I'm allergic or not. Probably failure. Um, I just really don't.
don't like failing. I like to succeed in everything. My biggest fear is judgment. And the only reason why is because I feel that sometimes other, other people's opinions hurt, but I can always just like knowing who I am and knowing my best, I could shake it off. So. When people stare at me, See? You learned a lot, didn't you? Sure, I guess I did. And next time we'll learn more. Next time? Yep, next time. I'm Avery. I'm Harley. And, and these, these warriors, warriors are walking, walking away, away for, for the week. week. We did it on that.